Hello everyone, and welcome to a MapleStory 2 tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking a bit about switches and the trigger editor. It's a really useful and neat tool for housing, and it allows us to do really neat stuff with interactable objects. So for the holiday season, I have some Christmas lights here. You can interact with them to turn them on or off. And the way I have the switch set up is that if I flip the switch on, all my lights turn on at the same time. And if I come back to the switch and turn it off, all of my lights turn off. And it's actually really simple to do, and I'm going to be walking you guys through it. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate on these luxury steady lamps over here. So same deal over here. If I switch my switch on, my lights turn on. And if I switch my switch off, the lights turn off. All right, so to start, what we're going to need is you're going to want to open up your furniture tab, go to furnishing and miscellaneous. And in the miscellaneous tab, you're going to find the networked computer. And a lever of your choice. Any of these switches or levers will work. And then finally, just an object that has that is interactable. So for instance, if I search lamp here, oops, I can find my luxury steady lamps. And you'll notice that it says can be operated by a trigger controller. So we're going to place these down. Okay, so we're going to come over to our trigger editor here, and this is what we're going to see. And don't be intimidated by this. It, it is actually programming, but it's very, very simple. So what we need is two states for a switch. A switch is either going to be in an on state or an off state. So let's name our states as such. So switch on or is our switch off? And I'm actually going to make the switch off the default because normally you keep your lights off and then you turn them on. Uh, don't worry about initial state for now. So for conditions, condition is simply an if something, then do something. So in our case, we want it to be that if our switch is turned on, it turns on our lights. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our lever. So to find our lever, if we pull this menu out of the way, everything in the world has IDs above it that can be interacted with a switch currently. So we want to be using our titanium silver lever here, and it has an ID on it. So we're going to find our lever in the, this list in its alphabetical order. So we're going to go to the T's, and we're going to find the titanium silver lever. All right. So if our switch is off, what we, we want it to do something when someone switches it on. So in the off state, we're currently in our off state. If the titanium switch is turned on, we're going to do something. And the way we tell it that we're going to do something is we say add action. So if the switch is turned on, we want both of our lamps to turn on. So we're going to have two actions that occur. And we need to find our lamps. So the lamps we're working with here are 194294 and 290. So we're going to find them in this list. So we're going to go to our luxury steady lamps. So there's our 290 and 294, 290, 294. All right, so if our switch is off, if someone turns it on, we want to t change our lights to be on. And so if our, lamp our lights are on, we're no longer in switches off state. We're in the switches on state, right? So we make it go to switches on. 
So if the switch is on, we want it to do something when someone switches it off. So if the switch is turned off, turn the luxury study lamps off and then change the state to switch off. So it goes back to off, goes to on. All right, and that's actually all that takes. Let me show you that it's actually working. Make sure you save your work. And so if we come over to our switch, we can turn them on, we can turn them off. On, off. All right, so the, the kind of, it's not necessarily a problem, but something to note with this is that if someone turns one on, and you come back up to it. When you turn them on, they'll both turn on. And when you turn like one off, if you turn it off, they both turn off. How you know if a switch is on or off is by these colors on the switches. If it's red, it means it's off. If it's green, it means it's on. So on some of them, it's a little bit easier to tell than others. It's a little bit harder to tell on this lever. This is off, this is on. So if you want to make it so that the light just stays on constantly, no matter what, if even if someone interacts with it, I can show you how to do that. So we're going to open up our editor again. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a state where the light is just always on or always off. So we'll just call it always, you can say like OF always on or off. So what we're going to do is that we'll just make it where, let's find our lever again, our titanium silver lever. So if it's off, always do something. And if it's on, always do something all in one state. So if it's off, always turn the luxury steady lamps off. So we're looking for 294 and 290 again. So 290, 294, 290, 294. Okay. So if the switch is off, always have the lights be off. If the switch is on, always have the lights be on. And it's currently doing the switch off state. So if we want it to do this instead of this, we want to make this the default. And then save, make sure you save. And let's see how it works. So now if we, switch, if we flip the switch on, they stay on. And if someone tries to interact with it, it turns itself back on. And it will do that as long as it's in the on state. And same with off state. If it's off and someone tries to turn it on, it'll constantly turn itself off. So it's kind of up to you which one you kind of prefer for your situation. You might want to always make sure your lights stay on. All right, and that's kind of the basics of switches. Uh, I'm going to show you one little more neat trick that you can do, which involves making the lights uh, flicker on and off multiple times. So if I use this line of code instead, notice when I turn it on, they turn on and then off and then on and then off and then on and then off. So I can, it's, it's kind of cool for Christmas lights. You might want some Christmas lights that do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a couple states and I'm just going to call them flashing A and flashing B. Okay. So if our lever is turned on, we want 290. 94. We want the lights to turn on. So we've done this before. If someone flips the switch on, our lights turn on. 
And then we're going to have it go to flashing B, and I'll explain why. I am the future of Tarun so it does this first. It does... If it's turned on, turn on. And then go to flashing B. So it does them in order. Let's see, 290 and 294. Okay. So at this point, if the lights are currently on, we're going to flip them back off again, and then we're going to have it loop back to flashing A. So what this essentially says is that when you turn the lights on, they turn on, and then if they're still on, they turn off, and then if they're still on, they turn on, if they're still off, they turn off. So let's see that in action. So if I flip the switch on, you turn on and then off, on and then off. Now there is a problem with this. Um, if someone turns this switch while the lights are still on, they stay on even though you'll notice the color is red, so they're supposed to be off right now. So it kind of got screwed up. They're kind of in reverse currently. Uh, and that'll keep happening just based on how you flip the switch wonky. So if we want to fix this, what we can do is just have it where we have a condition where if the this, this switch is off, just turn everything off always. So if a lever, regardless of what state it's in, if the lever is turned off, turn the lights off. Same here, turn the lights off. So we find our lights again, 290, 290, 94. 94. Oops, that didn't drag. 294. I did 290. Okay. So now we're going to save that again. And let's try it again. So we turn them on. They're flashing on and off. And if I turn the switch off, they stay off. And I'll try to wait till we'll wait till it's on. Notice how it works. Even if the lights were on, they still turn off. So that's kind of the basics for just turning on lights on and off. You can literally do this to turn on like every single light in your house if you want to. Uh, so like the switch, I turn it on and even this light up here is also flashing. Uh, one really kind of neat trick you can do is that these actually work with, if you look at this list here, they actually work with portals. And you're asking, well, why why would you want to use that with a portal? Well, I will show you. Let's make a couple portals here. And we're going to have these portals go to each other. So. Demo portal A. And demo portal B. So to a portal in home, when they walk into it, they're going to go to portal, demo portal A. Okay. Then when they go to this one, when they walk into this one, they'll go to demo portal B. Okay. So I'll just show how that works. If I walk into this one. Oh. Oh no, we're stuck. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right, I should have known that would happen. <laughs> okay. Um, do, 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 do. No destination. Okay, for now we'll just have it be if you walk into this portal, you end up at this portal.
portal on. Normally your portals are on when you walk into your house. And we're just going to add a condition where if our lever is pulled, our titanium lever, it turns this portal off. And the portal we want to turn off is this one, 289. So if you have a lot of portals like me, it might be a little bit hard to find, but there it is. So if it's turned off, we're going to turn it off, and we'll have that doing that instead of our lights. So currently, if we walk into this portal, it'll portal... Oh, it's off currently. Okay, so it's already working. So if it's on... Okay, wait, we need to turn the... <laughs> need to turn it back on. Okay. One sec. If our tiny titanium lever is turned on, we'll turn our portal on. Which is 289. Okay. So it's currently on, so if we walk through our portal, it'll portal us to our other portal, right? But if we turn it off, it no longer does. So the reason this is cool is because if you made like a maze in your house, it'd be really cool to make it where they can only progress if they've hit the proper lever. So you can make like puzzles in your home using this. So there are lots of different practical applications for switches, and they're all pretty neat. And I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what kind of things you guys are trying to make triggers for in your house. And happy holidays, everyone.